Hey, Joystick News crew. Today, we're diving into a fascinating conversation sparked by Ninja Theory, the developers behind the highly anticipated Hellblade 2. In a world where blockbuster games often boast about their length and depth, Ninja Theory is taking a decidedly different path. Their latest title, Hellblade 2, is set to offer a more concise experience, clocking in at around 8 hours and launching exclusively in digital form. So, grab your favorite snack and let's dissect what this means for us gamers and the industry at large. Ninja Theory, a studio renowned for its innovative and narrative-driven games, is no stranger to shorter, more impactful experiences. Their approach with Hellblade 2, priced at $1.50 and digital only, continues the trend set by its predecessors. Dom Matthews, the studio head at Ninja Theory, shared some insights with Ayn, emphasizing that the game's length is tailored to fit the story they want to tell. According to Matthews, it's not about the quantity of hours, but the quality of the journey that matters most. What's intriguing here is Ninja Theory's understanding of their audience's desires. Matthews highlighted that in today's fast-paced world, not every gamer is looking for a 50 or 100 hour epic. Many appreciate the opportunity to dive into a rich, immersive experience that doesn't demand an enormous time investment. Hellblade 2 aims to fill this niche, offering a game where every step of that journey is meaningful. This philosophy is somewhat of a departure from the current trend of massive, open-world titles that can sometimes feel overwhelming. It's a reflection of the broader possibilities that digital distribution has opened up for the industry. Games of all shapes and sizes can find their audience, and Ninja Theory is keen on catering to those who yearn for focused, narrative-driven experiences. Moreover, the success of a game like Hellblade 2 isn't just measured by sales figures, especially in an era where subscription services like Xbox Game Pass play a significant role. For Ninja Theory, success is about reaching as wide an audience as possible and creating something that resonates emotionally with players. Matthews dreams of continuing Senua's journey in a way that honors the character and satisfies fans of the first game. This raises some compelling questions for the gaming community. In an industry often dominated by discussions about game length and value for money, Hellblade 2 challenges us to think differently. Is it time we reevaluate what we consider a successful game? Can a shorter but deeply engaging and well crafted experience provide just as much, if not more, value than its longer counterparts? I want to hear from you. What's your ideal game length? Do you prefer the epic sagas that span dozens of hours, or are you drawn to shorter, more narrative focused titles? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As we anticipate Hellblade 2's release on May 21, 2024, it's clear that Ninja Theory is not just making a game, they're making a statement about the art of storytelling in video games. Whether you're a fan of Senua's journey or simply a lover of thought-provoking games, Hellblade 2 represents a fascinating direction for the future of game development. Keep it locked on Joystick News for more updates, discussions and deep dives into the games that make us think, feel and most importantly play. Until next time, happy gaming and remember the best stories are often the ones that leave us wanting more.